ACIM Insights Lesson 127 There is no love but God's. At the beginning of today's exercise, I repeated the title of today's lesson slowly in my mind, like a mantra. Each time I said it, I felt myself relax a little more. It brought a sense of relief. As I accept that there is no love but God's, I no longer need to spend all the time I have spent trying to be accepted in one way or another. I don't need anyone's approval, for I already have all of God's love. There is nothing else. As I remember that there is no love but God's, a big portion of the time I have invested to try to obtain value, worth, and acceptance is no longer necessary. As I go deeper into remembering that there is no love but God's, all need for defense disappears. I no longer have to maintain an image that is acceptable. I no longer need to be right. I no longer need to fear losing love or value. So another big chunk is released. Freed from investment in defense and return to acceptance of all that is real, of love. As I come to rest in the awareness that there is no love but God's, I am in deep peace that cannot be disturbed. God has given me all of his love and there is nothing else to have. I no longer need to strive to obtain anything, for I already have all that I need, all that there is in reality. As I hold this recognition in my mind, all that I see is love. When any brother comes to mind, all I can see in him is love. All I can offer him is love. I am free of the strain of judgment, trying to make differences where no differences exist. I am accepting myself as it is and always has been. My heart is filled with deep appreciation that extends to all. At last, I accept myself as God created me. The battle of rejection is over and I am free. Thank you, God, for your gift of love to me. I accept your gift by offering it to all. What stands out to me in this lesson is the idea that the power of love holds everything as one. That means love is one, with no differences and no exceptions. As I learn to open to God's love, the power of love shows me that everything is one. The love I have known in this world with one kind of love here and another kind of love there is really nothing and is meaningless. As I learn to return to God's love, I am shown that love is everywhere. In fact, God's universal love is all that is real. This takes a lot of stepping back from the false lessons I have learned from the past. In returning to God's love, I need to remember that I do not know what anything means. I need to remember that only God's love is real. This takes consistent practice and a willingness to appreciate and be open to God's love, which is the only love that is real. God's love never changes with time. God's love is eternal. I can now use time to return to God's love the only love that brings an awareness of oneness. I can let go of all the meaning I have given to this world and return to all true meaning. I can learn to lift the veil and find love behind all the false images of separation. I can learn to rest in the oneness of God's love. I can practice today returning to love and remembering that there is no love but God's. I'm glad that this lesson asked us to approach this lesson one person at a time. At first, as I was reading the lesson, I tried to encompass everything in my world. All of the places I have withheld love and those I have assigned special meaning swirled through my mind. Is there any place in my love that I have seen love as it is? I started to feel discouraged. One person at a time, though. I think I can do this. For the first time in my life, I feel ready to accept love as it is. I know that it will take practice because I have believed in special love for a long time. I have thought of love as a tool to manipulate and control, to reward and punish. 
I have been afraid to open up to love, thinking that with great love comes great pain. What a relief it will be to release all of this and accept love for what it is.